Hello everyone! I'm the Mighty Blues and welcome back to Danganronpa! Last time, we finished up the school trial for Sayaka's death. We found out the killer was Leon and Leon has now been executed. Alongside completing the class trial, we also got access to the second floor of the school. And so this episode, we are continuing our exploration of the second floor of the school here at the library in which everyone is bitching and complaining over writing or whatever. If Fumi's being weird. Uh, I don't remember. I think we talked to Kiyoko <sighs> last time. Uh, yes we did. Okay, we did talk to everyone, I believe. Uh, I think we also- No, not to Fumi! Shut up! I don't- Shut up! I don't care! I don't want to hear anything that comes out of your dirty hole! Shelf is covered in dust when the shelf is a foot. I think if I remember correctly, we. Yes, we did. We we talked about it this time. It's been like a week since I last recorded, and also, I technically haven't edited the last episode I recorded, which was episode 10. Um, so, yeah, I'm trying to play a little bit of catch up. Okay, cool. I, I think that's everything. I don't think there's anything else that you need to do in here. What's behind this door? Some kind of archive. All I saw in there was stacks of old books and files. I can't imagine what business you would have in there. You can't read. That's true. I can't read. I really don't have any reason to check it out. But I want to do it anyway. Alright, what else we got in here? No, that's the... What, that's the X button. Uh, what is... What's down here? What? There's a thick layer of dust on top of the desk. Looks like this library's been neglected for a pretty long time. As nice as the school itself is, whoever's in charge of upkeep has been pretty lazy. Strange. <gasps> Monokuma coin! Whoa! I got so many Monokuma coin! We gotta go spend those. I'm sorry, we gotta- I forgot, we get a, a piss ton of them during the trials. We gotta- we gotta get those for the- for the collection. I should clarify, I'm not gonna try to go for 100%, uh, but, you know, what, what button do I press to pull up my map? Oh, it's Y, okay. Uh, let's look around and see if we can find some other stuff. There's a classroom over here. I wonder if anybody's in here. Probably should have checked the map before, you know, actually jumping in here, but whatever, it's fine. Reality isn't everything! Okay. Is there... Anything in no? Okay, I better should I should probably check the map before actually looking at anything. Ready to check the library? Alright, looks like looks like uh Sakura is the only other person worth anything. Wait, hold on, is that a is that a swimming pool? I think I saw a swimming pool. I'll all go check that out. Alright, Sakura, what you got for me? I see. This must be what he meant by a by a new world. Huh. I should probably take a really close look around. Yep. It's a classroom. Alright, cut! It's the X button. I don't like there's anything new in here. Alright, thanks, Sakura. Bye. I'm gonna go check out the swimming pool. Did you see we got a pool in here, Sakura? Hell yeah. You can imagine Owie's probably here. Whoa, there's a freaking Gatling gun! Oh, Makoto! Hey, guess what? Guess what I found? A pool! There's a pool here! A pool! Pool, pool, pool! You, you don't have to keep repeating it. I got it. And there's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room! Sakura's gonna go nuts when she finds out! Yeah, you're right about that. Kini seems way more excited than usual. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's because she's the ultimate swimmer, Makoto? Did you forget that detail? Chihiro! Hey, Chihiro! Have you checked out the pool yet? Uh, um... No. I don't like wearing swimsuits. Uh, I can relate. Yeah, you do seem like the type who might not be into that kind of thing. But... Uh, but still, it sounds like the locker rooms here have all the exercise equipment you could ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I'd kind of like to get a little stronger. 
You want to get stronger? I have to say, that's kind of unexpected. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not even brave enough to step foot into the locker room. Huh? You don't even want to go in the locker room? Um, it's not that I don't want to, it's just... I don't get it. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? That's a pretty weird phobia, though. Celeste! Wait, no, that's not... This, this is not what I... No, Celeste! <laughs> the second floor has opened up. The living area has grown, and a number of facilities are now available. Whatever else is going on, I must admit, things have been made much more comfortable for us. Do you understand? If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, people have to die for that to happen, though, Celeste, just saying. Behind this door is the locker room? <laughs> This is the girls' locker room. This is fine. A true gentleman will respect our space, yes? Alright, guess we gotta go in the boys' locker room. Yeah! Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get into the locker rooms. Really? Of course! Oh, really, really? Oh. Uh, hmm. You wanna... <laughs> if you wanna unlock the locker room... You'll have to swipe your personal e-handbook across the card reader next to the door! Uh-huh. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room, and the same goes for the girls! And that's the bottom line! But... Hmm. But what if someone opens the door, and then someone else sneaks in? Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravity. Oh, that's what the Gatling gun's for. That makes sense. See? There's a Gatling gun mounted on the ceiling, right? Yeah. And it'll be like... Just a second. I bet it really hurt to get shot by that thing. Wow, very assertive. It's a very, very good assumption there, Owie. <laughs> that Gatling gun will make you go, owie. <laughs> um, no, I think it'd be a little worse than that. Hmm. But what happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? A boy could borrow a girl's handbook, and that would get them into the girl's locker room, would it not? Ooh. That never occurred to me to think someone could go be so low, so cowardly, so devilish. Okay, how's this sound? I got it! Time for a new rule! As of this moment, loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited! <laughs> there! So now nobody can give their handbook to anyone else! Right? You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? It's because my brain is 100% cotton! Honestly... I do not imagine anyone have, would have lent their handbook out in the first place. Is that okay? After all, they would likely be held responsible for anything that person might do using the handbook. So, um... But, you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. Of course! It's cause all you teenagers are sex crazed maniacs! You're at that age you try humping a plastic bottle! What? what, what? Uh... Of all the things to help, Monokuma, why a plastic bottle? There are plenty of other things that you could help that are better. Not that I would know. Uh, <laughs> so to keep anything unseemly from happening, I have to maintain a rigorous watch. <laughs> and then in that case, I would ask that you keep the same clothes I in our dorms. If some man and some woman decided to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. <laughs> I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. Yes, yes. I don't care what happens in your private dorms. By force or by cunning, do whatever you want. Just the worst. I hate you so much. See ya later. Okay, so the new regulation is now in place. See ya. <sighs> Man, that stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer myself up. You got it. Celeste, Chihiro, you want to come with me? As for me... There's nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, I'll pass this time. Oh. How come? When you're in a funk, there's something better than a good swim to pull you out of it. I mean... I know I just said before that I hate wearing swimsuits, and I do. 
but that's because I have body issues. Uh, body positivity issues. Uh, I still love swimming. Pretty sure that only applies to you. Anyway, now I have a pretty good idea what's on the second floor. I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. All I can do now is hope someone else found something worthwhile. Okay, I'd better, he better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. But I wanna go to the gotcha pond! Listen to me! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how did it go? Did anyone discover any interest any interesting new anything? Yes indeed. There's a library! Okay. And a pool! A freaking pool! And locker rooms filled with exercise equipment! Well there was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. Yeah, she's right. I see! Well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery! Quiet down and listen! The warehouse and bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open! You hear me? And the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, whatever you want! There's so much, it's insane! <laughs> so go ahead and stuff yourself to the gills whenever you feel like it! Are you okay with this? Keep in mind, of course, that going out at nighttime is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Yo. Okay, and what about a fucking way out of here? Do you find anything like that? Oh, well, uh... What? There what? wasn't anything in the warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here. Nothing? Uh, unfortunately, no. Not what I saw. Hey, come on. You fucking people. What? Who gives a shit if we have a goddamn pool now? Or a warehouse, or whatever the fuck? Stop fucking around! We're still trapped in this piece of shit school! We need to find a goddamn way out! <laughs> and now, now, there's no point in taking your anger out on us. Adaptation is the key, yes? For now, we must each find a way to enjoy our current situation. You piece of... Whatever you say, you fucking loon. <laughs> For now, uh, let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if you should dis discover something. So, then. so, are we done for today? Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess so. The air seemed to suddenly grow heavy again. <laughs> Sorry, I just looked over and I saw him fool me. And Hero is right behind him. It looks like Fumi's got just like a misplaced Avro. And I love it. He just keeps looking at him. It's so dumb. Was this the mastermind's plan? To give us hope? Just to turn around and betray that hope? Ah, great contribution to the conversation, Biakia. <gasps> no, not Ding Dong Bing Bong! I wanna go to the Gacha Plan! I wanna go to the Plan! Maybe I can finally get a Master Blork <laughs> keychain! <laughs> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Did I really just say Master Blork? I meant to say Master Belch. I was talking about Earthbound, those like little Earthbound keychains that came out like a couple years ago. As such, it is officially nighttime. I actually have the them all. The Just okay. Shut up. Shut up, Monokuma. I don't care. I'm talking about Earthbound. Earthbound's way better than you, Monokuma. We all promised not to leave our dorms during nighttime. There's not much else to do. I guess we'll just go to bed. Boy, got you, Pawn. Oh, now he has scissors. What? Mr. Monokuma! Mr. Monokuma! Do you have a second? I, I don't really like myself. I don't have any good, any kind of skill or hobby or I can say I'm super good at. And my grades are totally average too. My reflexes are okay. Not great. Not awful. I could get into a decent college where I'd make a few friends. Maybe even find a normal girlfriend. Which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one giant copy paste. I don't have any imagination. I'm a perfectly average cardboard cutout. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? What is happening? What are these dreams? Why are we dreaming about Monokuma? Good. Oh, that's right. No, oh, wait. Oh, I was actually skipping dialogue because I figured this was going to be the same thing as every other time, but no, it's actually different. I you know that your e-handbooks have been updated. Oh, to reflect on the e-handbook rule? New regulations have been added, 
so please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before. Don't be looking at boobies. He must be referring to yesterday. Loaning your hand back to another student is strictly prohibited. Right now, we need I need to hurry and head to breakfast. Or we could go to Gotcha Pond. I got a shit ton of money to spend. Mom gave me an allowance. So I gotta use it. Ah, damn it. Damn it, Bakono, why are you like this? Morning, Makoto! Good morning! Is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo. Nope, still waiting on Byaki and Taka. Byaki is no surprise, but it's strange Taka's not here yet. <laughs> Annoying Taka, I imagine he's trying to get the king of tardiness up and out of bed. Hmm. I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. Let's see. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem. Which is... <sighs> I am thirsty. Hey, come Damn, on. Damn girl, me too. How the hell is that a problem? <laughs> Yafumi, would you like to make me some tea? Oh, that kind of thirsty. Oh, sorry, I was thinking of something. <laughs> uh, milk tea, if you please. Well, oh, why me? Let's see. Your round just figure reminds me of the owner of a cof of the coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason? This is fine. I can feel my throat drying out. Quickly, please. Oh. Um. Okay. Apparently unable to refuse Celeste's order, Hifumi skulked away into the kitchen. And a few minutes later... <laughs> Thank you for waiting! Hifumi reappeared with a tray in hand! The gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached! Wearing a maid skirt and everything! <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> you could have made some for the rest of us, you know. There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. <laughs> That was the best line you could actually give for that kind of response. He's just like, shut up, heathen! I am emphatically declined. You're not my type at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all about the law of casual causality. Basic instinct, act and react. What the fuck are you talking about? Well then, if you don't mind... I am, <laughs> I am sick of the smell of weeaboo. I go to leave now. A small smile played across her lips as she held the teacup delicately in her hand. Oh. oh. Wait. She cocked her head to the side. And threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. Whoa! What? What the? Hey, what are you doing, my little white rep? What? 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 Why? <sighs> I hate this kind of tea. Um. Um, I don't understand. Yes, indeed. Imagine we are at the coffee shop. Just any normal, everyday cafe. I sit down and I order some tea. They, they then ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now, further imagine that I replied, ah, yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes? <gasps> but this is not for me. I am among those who prefer the milk to be part of the process from the, out, from the outset. The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet, sweet that way. Adding milk or lemon right before you, dr you drink is like dousing your fries in ketchup. Mere condiments. Whenever looking for a cafe, I first review the menu to see if, the, if it offers the proper style of milk tea. <laughs> and I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. If I had to describe our shared reaction to what we just heard, I'd say you're a pompous ass bitch. I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. Um, I went to all that trouble to make you that tea, and you wanted me to go even farther? <sighs> yes, to go even further beyond Super Milk Tea 3. Yes, I realize it can be a bit of a hassle. Even in cafes that offer proper milk tea, it is always more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely, but... <laughs> oh, why even bother creating a menu if you are not going to offer the highest level of quality? Bitch, you ever heard of a McDonald's? 
Uh, well, um, we don't actually have a menu. You little bitch. No, ooh, ooh. Celeste, damn. That does not matter. Hurry up and bring me what I asked for, swine. Say what? Yeah, hey, uh, yes, queen. Oh my god, he goes along with it. Your little piggy will- Oh god, I'm not even finishing that line. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I do so love coercion. Damn, this girl's sadistic. You were like a totally different person just now. Shit. Yeah, shit. You really went psycho there. <laughs> She's a dom. I'm just, I'm just saying that uh, that's exactly what she is, and uh, mm, okay. I knew there was more to her when I first met her. I'd hate to have to have her as an enemy. Or a partner. Seriously, man, she's one crazy scary chick. The dining hall floors flew open, and one of the late arrivals came storming in. But, bad news, everyone. There's a mystery afoot. Huh? Huh? What happened? <clears throat> It would seem Biakia refuses to leave his room. I stood there pressing his doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. All I heard was very wet slaps. Maybe he just wasn't there. I think maybe... I'd like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. What he meant by that... He didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that might mean. It might be a good idea if we all split up and go look for him. Listen to me! Huh! I was just about to suggest the same thing! What's your problem? Stop trying to one-up everyone! Um... Okay, then. I'll go check his room one more time. I'm just gonna keep on hammering that button until I get a response. Well. <laughs> Very productive, Owie. Very well. Then the rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Uh, um... Yeah, before it's, you know too late. Anyway, we just have to do our best to find Biakia. So where might Biakia have gone? Maybe he went to go check out the second floor of the school again. Oh, Celeste is still here. I wonder if Fumi is still here too. I gotta check. Celeste, aren't you going to help look for Biakia? I have had no- I have had- I have not had my tea yet. Huh? As for me... Until my thirst is satisfied, I have no urge to do anything. <laughs> if you're in any hurry, please feel free to motivate Yafumi to move faster. Oh, okay. Aren't you being kind of selfish? I don't think Celeste cares. If I'm being honest. Yafumi! You, you okay in here? Mm -hmm. Ah, Mr. Naigi. What's going on? Well, nobody's seen Biakia this morning, so we've all decided to go look for him. What? What? That's not good at all. However. However, this little... Oh, God. Oh, Ifumi. Oh, Ifumi. I hate you with every passing second. This little piggy needs to. I have a holy edict to deliver a proper milk tea to my master. <laughs> To bless this undeserving swine with such an honor, I will serve you with all my heart. Oh, oh! As if I could not hate F Fumi anymore. Oh, oh, okay. Good luck with that. Fumi's created some creepy alternate reality for himself. Nah, he's just a pay pig now. Assuming he even has money. Alright, you two have fun. Don't whip each other too hard. <laughs> oh, I could probably go buy stuff now. Uh, but first, I should probably go check on everyone else. I mean, Biakia is probably fine. Gotcha, Pon. Maybe I'll knock myself just to be sure. Um. See? He's not in there. Yeah, I guess not. I meant to talk to Owie, but how you doing? Hey, Hina. Any luck? Mm. Nah, it's no use. I keep banging on this door. Nothing. Mm. Come on already. Open up. Be careful. You're going to bust down the door hitting it that hard. <laughs> now relax. This is nothing compared to what Sakura could do. Ah. Sakura's really awesome, you know? If she really wanted to, she could tear this door to shreds. Uh, I see. Well, she is the ultimate martial artist. She might actually be able to do it. Mm. 
been knocking long enough. I think I can say for sure he's not here. I think you're right. Okay, I'm gonna go look around for him. Yeah. Okay, good luck. All right, Toko, what you got? Hey, Toko, hanging out with Hina, huh? What's your problem? What? You got a problem with that? No. <laughs> Something might have happened, right? Being alone right now might not be safe. So he got scared and decided to stay close to Hina. I guess everyone has a softer side. <laughs> as long as I'm with the sports idiot. If something does happen, I'm sure she'd jump in without thinking and take the fall. Huh? What the heck? What? Were you eavesdropping? Awful! You're just awful! Get lost, you straight cat! Bitch, you're talking out loud! Don't get mad at me! You're the, you're the one just blabbering your mouth. Leave anybody else. Oh, yeah, people are everywhere. Damn. Oh, yeah, we should probably, should probably check all these rooms. Let's check the bathhouse. Bondo! Yo. How's it going? You find him? No. Hey, come on. Shit. Man, where the hell did he go? He's got his head stuck. <laughs> He's got his head stuck so far up his ass. <laughs> Who knows what's going on with him? I figured maybe he was taking a bath or something. So what about you? You a morning bath kind of guy? Hell yeah! I spent all night riding your hog wind. <laughs> wind in your face or something better than a morning dip. <sighs> I interpreted riding your hog as something else, but I get it. He's talking about riding your motorcycle, not. Slapping your meat. Hot water loosens you up and the key to your soul gets your heat, heart and body pumping. Ch sure thing. I'll have to take your word for all that. What? what? You don't know what I'm talking about? Fucking nerd. Hell yeah. Guys gotta expose themselves to each other, you know? Come with me, Nick. She actually is. He's literally talking about jerking each other off. What the fuck, Mondo? I was giving you the benefit of the doubt. Because I'm like, you know, he's in a biker gang. He's probably talking about hog as in like a motorcycle. No, he's talking about jerking off with the boys. Mondo is a certified member of the D Club. All right. I I'll think about it. But I mean, <laughs> it's not like you've been riding your hog here in the school, right? Oh, no. Makoto doesn't get it. Oh, no. Oh, hang on. One of these is open. Lockers. One of them is unlocked, but I don't see anything inside. Hmm. Huh. Alright, well, I guess we'll check out the sauna. Damn, this place looks cool. Nothing. This bathtub is huge. Man, I know it's a cultural thing, but like mixed baths or something, I, I could never get behind. I don't know what it is. I just, I cannot get behind it. What's this? Is it the heat source for the sauna? Apparently. You know, it's actually funny. Um, my, uh, my grandfather, um, on my dad's side. He actually used to own a house that had its own sauna inside. And, uh, I never, I never once saw him use it. But, uh, that's the only time I've ever actually seen a, a physical sauna. Like, ever. Is, uh, it's, is in my grandfather's house. Alright, what do we got in here? Laundry! Oh, what is this? bunch of magazines. One's called The Lovely Ladies of Earth. It's filled with what they refer to as world-class beauties. <gasps> yeah! Monokuma coin that I need to go spend. There are enough washing machines here. Alright, well. Ooh, vending machine. Alright, well there's nothing in there. I'm assuming we gotta go to the second floor too. So we'll probably do that. Breaks. I checked there. Talked to Mondo. Oh, boys bathroom. Apparently Mondo is in the bathroom. In the bathroom. In my wow, this is a tiny ass bathroom. I can't even walk in here. 
What are you doing in the bathroom, hero? Hmm. Huh? Oh, well. According to the spirits. I consulted the spirits and the toilet spirits. He had a bathroom emergency and couldn't make it to breakfast. Well, his guts forced him to spend all morning in the can. No way. But I was totally wrong. Swing and a miss. Three strikes, I'm out. Yeah, Bianca doesn't seem like the kind of guy who would have problems like that. I love the fact that they got that little mirror right there. It's a cute little fish tank. Oh, wait, no, it's actually a fish tank. Oh, that's cute. That kind of reminds me of the bathrooms of my job. They're all decorated so pretty, and I love it. It's very unnecessary, but hey, you know what? I will appreciate a, a, a nicely decorated bathroom. I should probably go to the warehouse. Whoa! Okay, this is a thing. Hey, Taka. Aha! I see you came to search this area as well, Makoto. Hmm. Thought you were one step too late. I've already finished my investigation, and there was no trace of Byakuya here. You hear me? An army marches on its stomach, as they say. In other words. So I thought maybe we could come here to have his fill. Mm -hmm. We must all eat. Eat until there's nothing left to eat. You understand? Anyway, now it's no time to get discouraged. We must head somewhere to continue our search. Yeah, you're right. Damn, this place is big. Oh, whoa. There's a lot of stuff. I'm assuming there are, like, Monokuma coins, right? Gotta be something, right? Come on. Food and candy. Are these books? No. Alright, whatever. Got some laundry detergent. Can I actually do some... Can I actually buy Gachapon stuff? Ah, oh, hell yeah, dude, I can! Alright, fuck you, Byakuya. I got Gachapon stuff to buy. Gachapon! Momo machine. Mono Mono, excuse me. I don't know why I said Momo. Oh, hell yeah, we got so much. Alright. Starting to get a bit more expensive now, but it's okay. That is a bust. I'm assuming that is going to be for an artist. Uh, is that a model gun? That's what I'm willing to assume. Uh, a bag of leaves? Flashlight, obviously. <gasps> lucky! But I get lucky. Lucky, 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 lucky! Phone! Damn, this is getting way too expensive. Anime figure. Pretty sure I can guess who that's gonna be for. Uh, is that a globe? I'm assuming that is like a onesie type outfit. Can? That's either candy or a makeup brush. Uh, hang on, Makoto. We gotta look at what we got. Let's look at our presents. What do we got that's new? Leaf covering. A loincloth meant to emphasize one's manliness. Its simple design features a single leaf overlaid on a white cloth. Really? Really? Demon angel princess figure. 
A collectible figure of Princess Piggles, the popular heroine from Demon Angel, pretty pudgy princess. Oh my god, she is pudgy. Hell yeah, dude. Rose in vitro. Small rose stored inside a test tube. It's good for both hellos and farewells. In language of flowers, the red rose means passionate love. Oh, uh, that's kind of cool. I get I see it now. Golden gun. Replica of the gun preferred by a famous assassin. It's not really much good by itself. You can't even cock it. Prince Shotoku's globe. Oh, okay, so this is a globe. Spherical representation of Earth about the size of a softball. Some believe it to be an oopart since it depicts a round Earth despite being many centuries old. Osiris Tears. Jewel treasured by the ancient super race. Even the devils has friends, you fool. And then tears flow. Small light. Common wisdom might make you think that shining this light on you will turn you small. But nope. It's just that the light itself is about the size of a matchbox. Okay. If facts. Used to distribute a full-length novel based on what the world would look like if all of someone's dreams came true. So a fax machine. Jump into this and you'll feel like you can support the world. It resembles some kind of yeti creature. Interesting. Oh yeah, we got the despair bat! Prove that you've cleared chapter one. The name really doesn't sound pleasant. It creates a foreboding sense that something very bad has begun. Cool! Anyway, what were we doing? Finding Biakia. Well, guess what? Fuck Biakia. We're not gonna look for him anymore. Because that is gonna be it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. And next time, from Dong and Rafa, we're gonna head to the second floor. And, uh, possibly find Biakia? I don't know. I don't really want to look for him. See you then.